You can access the entire episode now on our website, ForbiddenKnowledge.News, Rockfin, Rumble, and all podcast platforms. What's happening in the realms of disclosure on different levels? We have your mainstream media approved government disinformation and propaganda, yeah. which really has severely tainted my perception of the whole UFO phenomenon. Dude. And then we have the community level and the fact that the community has also been infiltrated by three letter agency and military industrial assets. In my view, it's all a huge mess right now. I'm just kind of sitting back with popcorn and enjoying the, the whole show as it unfolds but there's a lot to get into today because there's a lot that's been happening a lot when you consider the mainstream disclosure phenomenon that's been happening as well so i can't wait to get into this but it's been a while remind the audience about yourself and your content and everything that you're working on sure so my name is neil everybody and i'm the founder of portal to ascension and what we are what we've become is basically a conscious event production company to put it simply but we do around 110 events at this point um, conferences tours webinars workshops retreats we're taking two groups of people to egypt this su- september and uh, around 80 percent of our events are online where we have like for example this weekend we have a two-day conference on atlantis 22 hours of the evidence of atlantis from spiritual to ancient history we got um we do deep dives on different topics on quantum timeline jumping so really it's become a platform where anything in regards to the awakening of humanity which is like thousands of topics if not almost every topic on the planet is connected to you know what we're doing our website has around 10,000 hours of content on there on the range of information there's 3,000 hours of free content and we are basically at this point right now just growing and really just providing a resource for humanity and not only the people that are just waking up now that need to dive into this topic and figure out what it's all about but also information for those who are awoken that um, want to learn the information they need to be the teachers for this new paradigm. Well, when it comes to UFOs and what we're seeing in our media, mainstream media and mainstream type of disclosure, what is your understanding of what could possibly be behind it all opposed to what they're showing us? Right. So I, I just did a presentation just the other day from, called From UFOs to UAPs, and it was kind of like a journey of the history of how we got to where we are. And so like what you're really getting into in this moment here is kind of how we can use our discernment to figure out what's real and what's not. So I kind of look at um, two levels of that, and we can't use blanket statements for everyone. And so generally when, when they say, and when they talk about technology specifically, that is mostly agenda oriented when they don't talk about who is behind this craft but what is this technology how can we use it and when they end their sentences and conversations around um it's a threat it could be a threat we need to look at it as a threat that's also something that could be related to an agenda however you got to use your discernment within that because you realize that a lot of these congress members and people that for lack of a better term are useful idiots they're just like you know parroting whatever are actually have military backgrounds and military backgrounds and also being in Congress and part of national security makes you look at things that are anomalous as an immediate threat, even if you're not a part of any agenda, okay? So there, so a lot of people just think that that's the one way to look at it, but you can even see, for example, it's been compartmentalized so much that right now there's this push from Congress where they're realizing that there's trillions of dollars that are black budget money going to programs that they had no idea about and they're really genuinely trying to figure out where that money has gone. Just two days ago, Congress passed um, uh, pa- passed legislation stating that no money, taxpayers' money, is allowed to go to any black budget programs, right? They just passed that legislation, not that they know if it's going to go there or not, but if it ever gets found out, whoever is using that money will be criminally liable. And within that, they said those same people are part of those black budget programs are now granted amnesty so that they can come out and tell the c- Congress that the money is being utilized for reverse engineering technology. So we're seeing that there is um, those that aren't in the know that are finding out about this information seem to be passing legislation to try to figure out what's really going on. Right on. So you think that what's behind the the mainstream disclosure narrative is a way to roll out weapons and technology under the guise of having to defend ourselves against possible alien attack? So we, let's 
we got to take a step back to like when Tom DeLonge did his broadcast in 2016, 2017. So just give somebody, like people, the historical perspective of when disclosure became mainstream. It, there was two things that occurred, right? This is the moment that UFOs became UAPs. Um, Hillary Clinton, right? Whether you like her or despise her, right? And she was on Jimmy Kimmel's show. And um, on the Jimmy Kimmel show, you know, first of all, every president that goes on any of these talk shows that have completely been co-opted and hijacked, any of them that go on there um, know exactly what's going to be asked of them, right? And so a lot of people think it's organic. It's so silly. Like, so, she, <laughs> so she, he goes, well, Hillary, like, um, you know, I asked your, your husband this. I'm going to ask you this. What's up with the UFOs? What's up with Area 51? And she goes, ah, 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 Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. We don't call them UFOs anymore. The UAPs, boom, branding, cross branding right there. WikiLeaks, yeah, yeah. WikiLeaks emails two months later, right? With Hillary Podesta, again, politics doesn't matter. Hillary Podesta, Obama, Edgar Mitchell, right? Talking about non human intelligences from in our solar system in the WikiLeaks emails, right? Mm. And then we have Tom DeLong a few months later comes out and he's on now on Twitter with Chris Mellon, Lou Elizondo. All these officials that were just part of the CIA, NSA, all those people literally two to three days ago, right? Oh, we just quit our job. First of all, it's so like, when I saw that, I was like, they can't say what they're saying while they're part of those agencies. And the fact that they literally just left those agencies a few days ago shows that this was all planned out. It's like, you know, they're like, okay, you're gonna release this now. You gotta pretend you're not a part of it anymore. And then he came out and what did they say? They didn't talk about who's driving these vehicles, right? This was huge disclosure movement right here in this moment, right? Whether it was agenda or whether it was real ETs. And he goes, he goes, um, we need to figure out what this technology is They're using really advanced craft. And we're going to start putting out an app where people can um, pinpoint these crafts so that we can all track them down and see what we do with the technology. But then a few months later, he was on Joe Rogan, where he told Joe Rogan, that the craft were actually reverse engineered government tech. This was when Tom DeLong was taken out as the frontman and Jeremy Corbell switched over with him because Tom DeLong put on his Twitter feed later, a couple years later, that when he was on Joe Rogan's show, he said things he didn't want to and they removed him as the frontman for this whole thing, right? So what we see happening there was all agenda oriented, I feel, especially because there's evidence out that the three videos that they put out, the gimbal, the FLIR-1 and the Nimitz incident were all reverse engineered craft and none of them were extraterrestrial. So it looks like what they were doing was they were drip disclosing technology that they already existed by saying, we're seeing something in the sky. We're going to start now researching what these are so we can see if we can do what they're doing. And in my book, that they were trying to say that they were trying to slowly disclose the fact that they have this technology already by not saying that they've been doing this for decades, but saying that they're doing it now right and then say wow we found something we're disclosing it and all this stuff but fast forward to this moment in this future that has just been blown off the lid because the new whistleblower has come out and said that they've been doing this for decades and the, what's happening in this disclosure community and the mainstream regular people in the world is the people are saying the government has been lying to us so now i'm thinking like this isn't part of any agenda because it's really actually backfired in the government's face and people are really upset with the lies that have happened interesting it is so hard to tell what is real and what isn't there's so much information and misinformation being flooded and going back to the people like you were saying that were former intelligence and military that are all of a sudden whistleblowers or they're part of the ufo community one of the examples of those is rick doty who i've interviewed at a conference and all of a sudden now he has a showtime special and all of his ndas have expired so he's just talking and talking and telling the most incredible stories yeah. mind you about area 51 and some of the classified information that he couldn't talk about before but it 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 all seems like it is too fantastical it seems like a lot of propaganda and like i said all of a sudden now he has a showtime special and there's all these others just like him who are being inserted into the ufo community to go out and to hit conferences and spread out all this information so my question for you is how deep does this infiltration go